I have quick ties here temporarily for, for this um, to hold it down. I have plans to put up sides, but right now the big thing is, does this thing work that I ordered from China? Some of the wiring doesn't make sense. Obviously there's a nice drawing to, uh, I was telling you earlier, is you gotta make sure that you wear these goggles. I can't tell you how many th times this thing has sparked out and, uh, and I'm sure it's gonna happen again. But what I'm gonna do now in order to save that from sparking out is I have these exposed ends right here, you know, these little terminals that are exposed. I'm gonna cover all those terminals up. So I have everything wired in a series um, because I'll tell you something, 52 volts, this thing fires off. I can't imagine what like a Tesla or something else, what's at, what's at risk is blowing your face up. So if these things touched, that'd be 52 volts. Crazy amount of power. Could you demonstrate that? No, I'm not gonna demonstrate it. It's just, it, it literally catches almost on fire. Do the negative. I'm not sure whether or not I should be putting these anywhere close to this because if it sparks, uh, ouch. Okay, so I'm just going to, all right, so let me just see something. I may have already made my first mistake. Yep, I already did. I connected the power to the negative. So this is the negative here. And because I covered them up, here is the negative, and now I want to connect that up to it. Whoa! Oh, shit, motherfucker. My terminals are blown off. Man. This is the Hack Lab, hacking things my whole life. This is part two of the go-kart uh, conversion from a gas go-kart over to an electric go-kart. I have the four batteries um, all set up here. They're wired in a series. Let me give you a little bit of a warning. You absolutely want to wear safety go goggles when you are wiring those batteries. I wired them wrong. The sparks are unbelievable. So it's supposed to be 48 volt, it's actually 52 volt, and everything adds up to 48 volts. Okay, wear safety goggles when you're wiring that and go very, very slow, but I have that here, and then I also have my foundation for the batteries um, that I uh, laser, -cutted, laser cut with my Glowforge, and that is a, those plans are available um, down below. I also have my motor mount here that I also laser cutted, but the plans are available um, down below. I'm going to wire in the speed controller, and I'm probably gonna do everything except connect the chain because I've never done a chain before, and I have to use a number 35 chain, and I have to use this chain roller breaker, so um, it's gonna be kind of complicated. So. What I'm hoping to do is get the batteries all set today inside of on this mount here, get them all strapped in, get this all strapped into the go-kart, and then I can work on the, um, the next video. I'll work on connecting the um, sprocket up to, a, to, up to the, um, the axle. I went ahead and found a 35 sprocket for my go-kart however it was wrong so i need to bore that out to um this motor is um let me see it's three eighths there but i think it's half inch there so i need to bore it out for this this sprocket that i bought for 13 bucks let's get going so right now i have everything hooked up this harness was broken the colors don't line up at all. So from the, the, the colors in the harness don't line up and this is not working. So I got my on off switch here. Like, the, like this thing really needs a key. <laughs> hey, someone stole my. All right, so I'm gonna have to, the, the 
wires coming out of the power controller are yellow, black, and green, and the wires that are in the harness are white, red, and yellow. Here's what's interesting. I'm going to have to rewire them, but the diagram doesn't say where to go, so I'm going to do white. So at this point, I actually think I fried the motor, though, and I'm, and I'm not happy because even you were shocked that it was $400 for this kit. $200 was the batteries. So white does not. All right, so here's a little tiny joystick. Looks like I'm playing some ant game and hit the throttle. Whoa! 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 Hit it again. Hit it again. <laughs> it works! My $400 was not destroyed! It doesn't look very fast! Great Scott! Yeah! Don't try any of this at home! None of this! None of this! And this! These were not meant to come out. Wow, these are just going in like butter. And we are charged. Looks good. I think what's going to look sweet when we get a top on it, which will prevent from the electrical burns, <laughs> which you can get, man. Well, I'll just go back and look at, scrub back to the earlier part of the video, bras. We, <laughs> you can get burnt. Okay, so we've got to um, drill out this sprocket, which uh, I'm not sure where it is, but that sprocket needs to be drilled out. Um, I guess we could move. Is this loose still? Yes. You just hammer it over? It's loose. You just hammer it over. Do I need a hammer or do I use a... Depends on how strong you are. This goes around here to here. Once we have that sprocket, we'll be good to go. And then we'll put the seat there. Looks like it needs one less, but the sprocket's not even on. Hmm. This thing cannot move, man. Seriously, that thing's gotta be that thing's gotta be tight, tight, tight. Any movement, it's going to loosen this up. But it's auto, it's cantilevered this way. This sprocket is cantilevered. But the, look, there's an interesting uh, bolt here. I think that's what an adjustment is. Where's the bolt? Well, there's an interesting uh, thing here that we can keep, potentially keep the, um, if we remove this again, we could put a little thing here, which it's, we could use as a tightener. So I think that we're not, I, I think we'll bolt this after we put the sprocket on. We'll actually move it forward, you know? So we'll put the chain on, it'll be loose. We'll move this forward, then tighten it down. And we'll put this adjustment piece here to get that thing down, that bolt. Oops. Batteries scare me. <laughs> Me too. I don't even know how we would. So here, another thing that we have to do is we have to burn in case I go out to eat and I want to. Yeah. <laughs> and I have, yeah, I can get it. <laughs> and this has got to go here so we could quick tie that, but it would probably be better just to put some bolts in and then just do this. I'm excited. I'm excited mostly today for this you think it is all working but and also the fact that a little bit of charge is actually making it go a lot more rpms 
So I'm having, so maybe tomorrow after a full charge, it's just gonna roar. And I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna get this valet and I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Burger King and I'm gonna get myself a Whopper, a double Whopper, and I'm gonna say, park this. I'll be right out. I'm gonna wait in line, get some onion rings and come back out. And I'm gonna take this home and I'm gonna eat that Whopper when I'm driving. And then when I'm done with the wrapper, I'm gonna throw the wrapper in the street. Litter. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. No, after, and then when I go home, I'm gonna bring my, everyone in my family, I'm gonna bring them onion rings. And they're gonna say, Dad, that's really nice of you. And I said, hey, do you wanna ride on my go-kart? Hey, that's it. That's it for today. Whatever you do, make something that connects someone. Bow!